Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Monica, if you guys are new. I am a first year nursing student and actually I have two weeks left of class for the semester. I am so freaking excited to have a little break, um, but I'm more excited to hop into pharmacology and nursing too to learn new material. But today I just wanted to share with you um, some tips that will help you get prepared for nursing school, um, which will include things that you'll need to do before you start school and things that you'll want to buy for school and for clinical. So the first thing that will happen once you guys get accepted into school is you will get a list of things that need to be done before school. Um, this usually includes a physical examination with your primary doctor. Um, you'll have to be CPR certified. You'll have to become a mandatory reporter. You'll have to get your immunizations up to date. This usually includes like getting your two-step TB test and getting um, the seasonal flu shot before you guys start clinical. There are many important items that you guys are going to want to buy, but it's not as much as you would typically think. I have about like four or five items here that like are a must for school and everything else like you don't need. So the first thing that I have is my stethoscope. I have the Lippmann Classic 3 here. I made mine on Amazon, like I got to pick the colors and stuff of what I wanted. This was about 130-ish dollars. Um, I'll leave mine linked down below in the description box if you guys want to check it out. They actually do have a five-year warranty, which is super nice. Um, and they come with extra earpieces and give you directions as to how to take care of this. You guys are going to need a good stethoscope. You guys will do your head to toe assessments with these. You'll listen to lung sounds, heart sounds, bowel sounds. Um, you need this in the clinical setting and to learn all of your skills. So I would highly recommend investing in your stethoscope. Another item that you're going to need for school is a pen light. Mine was super cheap from the bookstore, which I regret buying. Um, I wish I would have bought mine off of Amazon. All of my classmates have super good pen lights from Amazon. Mine's like a dingy little dim one. Um, I mean, it still works. I still get those people responses that I need, but I'm definitely going to invest in another one soon. Um, so buy yours from Amazon. Learn the lesson that I gave to you and buy from Amazon. The next item that is dire are compression socks. These go up to your knee, they compress um, your leg so that the blood doesn't pool down to your foot while you guys are standing all day um, in clinical or class, lab, whatever it may be, and they help to not get varicose veins. So these are a must, they're a lifesaver, they save your legs. A watch is another thing that you guys will need to buy. I bought mine from Walmart. It was like literally $7. It was so cheap. I, I'm i not a big watch gal, so I only wear this to clinical and for school. Um, most clinical settings don't let you guys wear um, Apple watches or smart watches like Fitbits or stuff like that. They think that because you guys have access to your phone that you could take pictures or do things on there that you're not supposed to be doing in the clinical setting. Um, and confidentiality is a huge thing in the hospital setting. So just keep that in mind if you guys were planning on using your Apple Watch or your Fitbit that you guys cannot and that you'll need to get a watch with a second hand. Another item that you guys are going to want to buy are scrubs. Um, I bought two pairs of my clinical uniform. We only go to clinical once a week so I can wear one uniform one week and then the next one the next week and kind of do laundry every other weekend with those. And the last item that you guys will need is a planner. Um, you guys are going to want to keep your life organized, your classes organized, your schedule organized. I have all of my assignments, things that I need to keep up to date on like PowerPoints when my tests are coming up. Um, like I have a lot of things written. <laughs> Um, most of the time I like highlight when my tests are so you guys can see I have a few highlights on that page um, 
I just kind of write down things that need to get done. Everyone's different in how they plan stuff out, but this was like a super cheap planner from Target. Just buy something that's durable and that will last. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed these few little tips. If you guys have anything else that I am not thinking of or maybe that you need that I didn't, please leave it down in the comments and let me know. Thank you again for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.